Hey everyone, uh, I'm Dylan. I am a content creator here at Plaid, and today I'm going to be continuing our last few weeks all about our brand new product in the folk art line, Folk Art Drizzle. Now, Folk Art Drizzle is a complete fluid art painting program, and it's the brand new addition to the awesome legacy brand that is Folk Art Acrylic Paint. So it is an acrylic-based, um, water-based, non-toxic uh, fluid art paint that is perfect for all kinds of fluid art and paint pouring. So I want to go ahead and jump right in and talk about what we're going to be working on today. And before I do that, though, I want to mention that we have a great piece PDF free printable guide on our website. If you go to pladonline.com slash drizzle, you'll find this free guide that goes over all kinds of different techniques and different supplies that you may need for pouring. So we're not gonna cover basic supplies today. We're gonna talk about my favorite kit in the uh, line, which is our drop swipe stir tool kit. Now this is a great kit if you're new to fluid art, this is a perfect thing to pick up and just jump right into paint pouring. We have three different um, paint swipers here. You've got a round tooth comb, a square tooth comb, and then a swiper that has some jagged little teeth on it. You get six of these great um, wooden stir sticks and four of the paint droppers. They are perfect for getting started with paint pouring. And what we're gonna be making today is this canvas right here. Um, this is a beautiful swirled and combed canvas. We used three different colors on this, and I wanna show you what colors we used. We've got um, Good Night. This is our dark navy color. It's that beautiful navy. Then we've got Sea Level. Sea Level is kind of a royal blue color and in the tropics. Now you notice I've got a few different sizes of bottles here. We offer a lot of great different paint kits. So if you are having trouble figuring out which colors to pick, we have these small four and 4.6 ounce fluid, uh, fluid ounce bottles uh, in four different paint sets. So you wanna make sure you check those out, but we also offer in the tropics in our larger um, 17.6 ounce size. So what we're gonna do to start is I've got my paint spinner. If you have seen any of the tools we've been talking about, we have a great tool called the paint spinner. And it's basically like a turntable that you can do spin art on. Uh, it's a fantastic tool. I like to use it as my general workstation. So if I've got a canvas, I want this in the room because it's just great to work on. And what we're gonna be doing is using our um, swipers, our combs, and we're going to be swiping across our design. So sometimes it's really nice to be able to move your canvas uh, instead of moving your, your arm, uh, and it makes it get your canvas in a much more uh, easily accessed position. So I like to work on that, and you'll notice I'm working in our classic um, baking sheet, nonstick baking sheet. It's what we love to pour in. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to place my canvas here. I'm gonna put some gloves on. Emily is in the studio today. If you guys have any questions, I would love to hear them. Again, that we are using our brand new Folk Art Drizzle. It's a very ex um, exciting new product that is available exclusively at Michael's. You can find links in the description. And we're going to do a dirty pour for this. So if you are not familiar with pouring art or fluid art, you'll know that um, a dirty pour is when we pour a bunch of different colors of paint into one cup pour it on our canvas and swirl it around. The other way to uh, do a paint pour would be a straight pour, pouring each individual color onto your canvas. So we're gonna do our dirty pour today. And I've got my canvas up on push pins. Um, that is a tip that we always love to have. And it's really nice to have these pushed into the corners because when you are done with your canvas, you can actually just set your canvas to the side and your paint will not stick to whatever surface you have stuck your canvas on. So you want it a little bit elevated. I'm just moving my push pins back a little bit so it fits over my spinner a little better. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start here. I'm going to just pour my colors directly out of the bottles into my cup. There's no real specific rhyme or reason to how we're doing this. We're just gonna layer paint in our cup. And I'm gonna get this small cup about halfway full to be able to cover my entire canvas. A dirty pour is a great way to start out because it's really fun to just pick, you know, three basic colors. All you have to do is pick three and mix them up in these cups and you get such great blended results. Now, Folk Art Drizzle stays very separate. The colors stay very bright and vibrant. They don't muddy, but they do blend in a really beautiful way when you do a dirty pour. So I'm always excited to see how my colors end up mixing. All right. 
So as you can see, I'm just pouring colors in randomly. Now you could do this in an order if you wanted to. If you wanted to remember your order and go um, in concentric circles in your cup, you'd get a different design. But I'm just kind of randomly adding my three colors. OK. All right, so I'm happy with the way that looks. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to pour directly on my canvas. And before I do that, I'm actually going to move my spinner out for a moment. I'm going to bring it back when I start using my, um, st my comb here. We're going to be using our um, rounded edge comb. But like I said, there are two other ones. You've got a square edge comb and then also this great little swiping tool that you can use the straight edges, but you can also use these um, jagged teeth, which are really fun. Okay, for a dirty pour, you can do it several different ways. You can put your canvas on top and then flip the whole thing over. But I'm just going to pour my paint on and we're gonna swirl it around. So the steps to this, pour the paint, swirl it around, then we're gonna grab our comb and run our comb through the top of our paint. You can already see we've got some beautiful ocean colors happening here. Okay, and now we're going to swirl our canvas around. You know, Dylan, one thing that I love about this brand yeah. is that you can leave it just like that. Oh, and yeah. it looks so pretty. Absolutely. And it dries down to a super shiny, glossy finish. So basically, the way you pour it is kind of the way it's going to end up drying. You're going to see that beautiful gloss you can see in our studio lights there. That's really how it's going to dry down. It's not going to change very much. OK, so I'm just going to wipe my hands off a little bit there. And we're going to pick our canvas up, and I'm going to place it on top of our paint spinner. So we do have a comment, and maybe okay. we can get into this a little bit later when you bring out the tool. Sure. But it, uh, we were wondering if you could comment on how hard or light you comb through the drizzle paint. Yeah, that's a good um, thing to talk about. So when I usually use the comb, I like to glide it through, but you do want to touch the canvas. You don't want to just glide it through the paint. Um, I like to actually have some texture. Drizzle is great at leveling, but it also, when you use the comb, you can get a little bit of raised texture. And you see how those lines, I waited a little bit longer to comb through on this one. So you can see we have some ridges because I wanted that beautiful texture, those almost ribbed looking um, canvas. But yes, if you were to go, go ahead and go right through your comb like we're about to do, you would end up with a nice smooth finish um, and it wouldn't necessarily have those separations in it on that canvas. So um, it, it generally levels out really, really well. Andy says that Dylan always makes using Drizzle products look like so much fun. Oh gosh, yes. If you haven't seen them already, we were on um, Andy's series. Uh, Lunch and Learn and Technique Tuesday last week in the Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group. So go over there and see the fun we had there. We made some crazy projects and uh, um, it has been fun the last few weeks showing everybody drizzle, even the decorative painters in the folk art world. It's been really fun. Okay, so let's get back to this one. I'm excited to see our tool in action here. Now these are a great rigid plastic. So after I'm done, I'm just going to go grab um, some soapy water and scrub this off and it'll be totally clean. You can see we've used it a lot and it remains really clean. So we're just going to go ahead and try it out here. So I like to start kind of at the diagonal and we're going to kind of rake our way across. You can see those teeth are touching the canvas. It just adds a completely different effect. Yeah. Just going to pull I'm just going to get some of that paint off on the side of my pan. We love pouring with these pans. I would highly recommend getting yourself a few dispose or um, reusable uh, baking sheets. They're perfect for pouring. And if you happen to get a little bit of paint all over your pan, you can allow it to dry. Absolutely. And then you use that extra paint as what's called skins. Yes, paint skins. Emily brings up a great um, technique that we like to use here at Plaid. We take the paint that's left over in the pan, which I'll pull my spinner around. You can see we've got a lot of paint there. You can even spread this out with your 
comb to get a little bit more coverage on your pan. And what's going to happen is this paint is going to dry completely solid. You're going to get a nice like flexible sheet of paint after that dries and you can use this to cut and stencil. You can put a word um, on a canvas with this. We like to do that from time to time. So don't just toss that paint, but using these pans make it really easy to remove that paint out of your pan. Great tip, Dylan. Yeah. Okay, so that is kind of an overview of our Drop Swipe Stir Tool Kit. Um, you'll notice that like I said at the beginning, you have a lot of different options in that kit. I'll remove my gloves just to show you again those tools. So you get three different combing tools or uh, paint swiping tools. You've got the round edge that we just used. You have the square edge. And then you've got this great paint swiper. This is great if you use silicone in your paintings and if you've ever seen a cell swipe pour, these are great for that kind of technique. But it also has these jagged teeth that would give you a similar effect but just a little bit sharper on your canvas. They are awesome to use. You also get four of the dropper tools. These are fantastic. They are plastic. The um, syringe area is plastic and then they just have this nice squishy silicone cap that you're able to just clean up easily with soap and water. I've used these so many different times making all these different videos and projects. So these are great to have in your arsenal if you want to add colors on top. We could even go back and add some white as an accent on top of this canvas. It's really fun and easy to do and this Drop Swipe Stir Tool Kit is a fantastic thing to have at your side when you are paint pouring. So if there are no other questions, I think that wraps it up for today's YouTube Live. We have everything linked in the description, so make sure that you are checking out our landing page, which is plaidonline.com slash drizzle. And drizzle is available exclusively at Michael's. So head to your local Michael's store and see the entire end cap, all the paints, all the tools. It's a beautiful end cap, and I would love for you guys to check it out. All right, until next time, bye guys.